Hello, welcome back to I Love. I am Podan. On today's episode, we are going to be playing some more Atari VCS. Oh yeah! We actually have four new games to play. Three that are another uh, additions to the airy bird flying games, and one amazing game from Atari, Centipede Recharged. Oh yes! More Atari games brought up to this new console. And Centipede is amazing. I used to play it with my mom on our Coleco all the time because it was her favorite video game. But let's get right in to the new gameplay. Okay, first, we're gonna play a little bit of each of the Airy games. There are three new ones, Broken Memories, Sky Castle, and A Journey Beyond Time. All with the same gameplay. You fly around collecting little feathers and icons and things, and progress through the worlds. And there's little stories in these games as well. Very good games for chilling. Here we go. We can check out the first level of each one, and then we'll play the hell out of some centipede. So here we go. Very peaceful games. Yeah, these games seem to unlock story as you find the collectibles. funny when you hit stuff the bird just falls over like he's dead kind of yeah, let's do it for fun oh whack then you go back to the beginning <laughs> super funny but these games are extremely chill they're kind of like flight simulation games relaxing games We got all new worlds and all new things to find. I think this one you're unlocking the memories of a person. The Airy games all use the modern controller. I feel like these games could use the joystick. You feel like you're flying a jet then. You kind of need it. There we go. Sometimes I wonder if I even need a real job. If I even want one. Oh, this one's an emotional one. Okay, where do we go next? Four left. There we go. Alright, here's another one. Oh! Mum doesn't seem too happy whenever I come up off. Doesn't give you much time to read. I'm a super slow reader. I need that time, man. There's another one. 
We got two left, two left. kind of like a flying platformer game you find the collectibles to move to the next world or level where are they oh wait there's one I think I think there's one right there yeah I think so let's see yep there's one I think the other one's around the other side of the island. Oh, nope, it's actually right up there. Okay, I got it. There we go. Are my ideas not real jobs? A little typo there. It should say not, I think. Where is it? Can we turn around? Whoosh! Oh, there it is. Whoosh. The levels look cool. It's a neat art style. It's all like uh, polygonal polygons and stuff. Looks neat. There we go. Yeah. And you go to the next level. Very cool. Yeah, very, very chill. Chill, chill games. It's a giant chess game. Yeah, this one at Broken Memories, I believe it's called. Oh, whoa, whoa. I like, oh no, I'm, I'm hitting the starting point. Ooh, there's a little design flaw. Oh, fly, birdie, fly. I seem to be stuck. Nice. Well, there's a mistake. this one right here let's try it again yeah I got stuck on the starting platform and it pulled me right down goofy some of these smaller company games have some flaws but it's all good you can get around them and have fun so come on, come on. there we go see we're fine Whoa! It's a neat world. Giant chess pieces. I like to play chess. Seems like it. A whole big, big, big chess board around here. There's one over here. Ten of them? Yeah, we're not gonna... We're not gonna do that. Birdie got hit. Back to the start. Okay. So you get the idea of that one. So you traverse the memories of that person that's speaking at the bottom. I'm not sure how the story will unfold. I can't wait to see. But that is Airy Broken Memories. Next, we have Airy Sky Castle. Another game. I think this one, you're just exploring a, a world in the sky. I think this one has narration in the beginning, possibly? Let's go new game. Yeah, many, many years, years ago, ago, our world broke our apart. world broke apart. Oh, it's talking. There was a brave young wizard who decided to fix the world. Ooh. But to do so, he first had to see everything that happened. He had to explore the world and find its very essence. He had to see the damage that needed to be undone. Cool. He had to truly understand everything that happened and everything that didn't. Mm. Sky As Castle. As he started his journey, 
he quickly realized that he needed to fly to cross the gap between the floating pieces of land. He had to be small and agile, yet he had to move quickly before it was too late. He didn't have to think twice about the solution and turned himself into a little bird. He spread his wings and started his adventure to repair the broken world. Whoa. Cool. Nice lead in with the music there. Trippy story, that's cool. So I'm a wizard. Turn myself into a little bird. Are these collectibles or does this take me to a world? Let's see. Ah! Okay, this one's got a... It's like a hub to go to each level, it looks like. Very cool. So that's a little upgrade from the previous two. Very cool ambient, like electronic music. Good stuff. Very mellow. Okay, so here's the world I'm in now. Was this jungle land? Jungle land! So what do you do inside these worlds, obviously? Collect feathers! Yep, I can already see one. Yep, so now I'm in another level. Cool! So this looks like the more in-depth one of all the ones so far, then, for the area games. Oh, I didn't get it. Why didn't it let me have it? Oh. What's the deal there? Do I need to get them in a certain order, maybe? What's this? This game is very mysterious. Even inside it. Weird. It's locked in a cage. Interesting. I wonder why. Let's see here. Looks like there might be a puzzle to solve over here. Whoops. Wrong button. For some reason they have B also as a pause button in this game. Looks like these things. Maybe I'm supposed to fly through these? Nope. Definitely not supposed to fly through those. Hmm. Let's see. Understand what the deal is with these up. Like this one is just sitting here. It doesn't seem to let me do anything. I'm just gonna fly up here. Oh, there's something. Us. There we go. So I gotta find those and it lights the beacons, it looks like. Interesting. And the other ones. Oh geez, they're all down here and stuff too. Oof. They are everywhere. Oh jeez. Oof. 
Whew, that was close. There's one over here. You're supposed to follow these, or it just does that visually. That's going to unlock those beacons. Let's do. If I go down here. Whoa! Wow! That was awesome. Oh, cool! Here's another one. instead of having a HUD, that's what those beacons are for, so you can visually see right in the level how many of these things you still need to find. Let's go see if they look different now. Oh yeah, see, there you go. Yeah, some of them turn on. Yeah, so after you find all of them, this this gate will open. Cool music though. Neat worlds. Again, another really fun, relaxing flying game in the Airy series. But let's get to the next one. That one has a really interesting story to it, I found. Eerie Sky Castle. This one, A Journey Beyond Time. It looks like they just use all the same assets. They make new levels, maybe new worlds kind of for each one. Smart idea. Not too much. I think they're only $10 a piece or less. So let's see here. So this one looks like you span like through history and time of man? Or humans, I should say. Just a little bird. So this one we just start in the void. I have been around. As long as I can remember, there has been nothing else. Nothing. Just me. This one kind of reminds me of a rhythm game. It was a boring time. Nothing happened. Nothing changed. Nothing even existed. Nothing ever even existed. Just the void. Without any warning, everything changed one day. Where's the next one? Oh, there it is! It's hard to navigate the void. There was a bright white flash. I couldn't see anything for quite some time as I never saw anything else than darkness before. But then, as my vision started to adapt, everything was there. Colors, planets, everything. It just appeared in front of my eyes. A whole world waiting to be discovered. Wow. This one's deep, like I said. Super deep story. Whew. 
Was that the flash, the white light? Now where are we? What? There's giant creatures in this one. Sky squids. Every form of life needs a base. Jeez. Look at those friggin' things. Creepy. So, I started searching for it. He's looking for the base? This is cool. This is almost like an alien world on this game. I visited countless planets in different galaxies just to finally find there we one go. drop of what I call the elixir of life. Elixir of life. So their basic format is, you know, you collect these things and it unravels a story that they've written for you. As I finally was able to find the elixir of life, it was very far away from basically everything. However, there was so much of it that it actually covered a whole planet. Pulls you in, narratively, even. I was even more surprised to see that the elixir had already started to show its effects. Mm. This elixir? What is this elixir you speak of? We must find it. The first life forms had already formed inside of the elixir. started to move around and started to inhabit their planet, their new home. Ah, so now we're giving birth to life? Life! Cool, cool. I knew this was it. This was what I had been looking for. So I'm going to go up now. Up above the squids, flying in the sky. This was change. This was something new. There's one down here. Ooh. Getting through the next level. Almost done. It's cool, though. I like listening to the story, and it's peaceful listening to the music, and... Controlling your little birdie. This was something Whoa. interesting. Something I could watch for a long time. Finally, something that would keep me entertained. Something that would rescue me from the deafening boredom that has been my prison for eternity. Look at that big thing. It's like a pig squid. Oh, to the next world. Very cool. It's neat to see that these guys got, geez, four of these games out now already. If you like this kind of stuff, like, we got tons to play. Ooh, an island. Very neat. Well, I think that's enough of the, the airy games. Very fun. A journey beyond time. Very cool. Now, let's get into the next Atari Recharge title, Centipede Recharged.
This game is fantastic. We definitely need more games like this, of course. We can be patient. I can wait for more. They've added uh, power-ups, the ability to just play forever, basically. There's a ton of challenges for you to compete in and uh, basically hone your skills to practice to get further in the arcade mode. And you can play the entire game in Couch Co-op. That is the entire arcade mode and the challenges. So that's really cool. They've also included achievements for you to get through. All kinds of neat stuff like reaching 20,000 points in arcade mode, surviving for so long, shooting different creatures. Very cool, very cool indeed. That's the, that's the fun stuff that keeps you playing longer and longer. Because you might not get super far in arcade, but you can, you know, beat these achievements and set little challenges for yourself and do better every time you play. So yeah, co-op for challenges, co-op for arcade. You can play this game with the uh, joystick, but I find that the diagonal controls are a little, a little off, so I prefer the uh, preciseness of the analog joystick of the modern controller. So let's give this beast a whirl. We gotta play some arcade, we're gonna play some challenges, and just see how far we get sucked into Centipede. Recharged. I'm loving the neon look that they've been giving us for these games. Missile Command felt a little, a little bare. Like there's, there just wasn't much to it, but that's fine. Cause now this game has a lot of good stuff to it. You cannot play this game with the mouse. I tried that already too. Cause as most of you will know, this game along with Missile Command are both games that use the trackball originally. And in Missile Command, you can use a mouse and that makes the gameplay way, way more like using the old school trackball. But it's all good. Like I said, the analog joystick on this one works really good. Oh God, the explosive ammo is awesome. I truly love the detail where the time for your power-ups is around the outside of the screen so you can visibly always see it while keeping your eyes on the action. Ooh, mirror guy. There's tons, tons of awesome power-ups in this game. Come on, come on. Furthest I got was just under 30,000 points so far. I have been playing the crap out of this game. I love old school arcade games when they can give them power-ups and all kinds of fun things to make the game play a little more, a little more differed, differential as you play through it. So you don't get so fatigued, you know, playing just your standard old school arcade game repeatedly. Come on. Spiders give you power-ups. Ah, oh, ah, oh, spiders also kick you in the butt. But yeah, your power-ups come from the spiders. Oh wait, I didn't die. Whoa, I lived. How did I live through that? What the hell happened there? I'll take it. Yeah, the explosives are- Aw, oh, there, the flea! The flea got me! You damn dirty flea! So there, there's my, uh, one of my best scores, 29,160. Very cool. Let's try this again. Yeah, the Atari has a vast, vast collection of games that are a lot like this that they can pull from and make more versions like this. I want more games like this on my Atari VCS. Games like this are the reason I backed the system in the first place. I, I knew, I didn't know, I was hoping that they were gonna make games like this because they originally had said that they were working with some small companies to make you know, recharged versions of their old arcade properties that, you know, we all loved. Everybody loved old Atari games. Maybe getting some more games like this will make some people, you know, come back again. I know Atari isn't the company it was way back then, but most companies aren't anymore. Things change. 
you need to all grow up and change with them. You don't have to, but I always find it's easier to just enjoy stuff. Come on, come on, come on. Can't wait to be able to play this with my mom. That's going to be fun. She couldn't believe it. I told her there's a new centipede, and she's like, what? New centipede? Are you kidding me? No, mom, I'm not. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. I find you need to get rid of the mushrooms, because you just keep appearing. You don't want your play area to get filled with them and block your movement. Ooh, the explosive is the best. You can just wipe out centipedes. And the mushrooms. I never even knew that those things were mushrooms back when I was a kid. I thought they were like just blocks. Ooh, there we go. Spread shot. There, that just clears the field. Please! The scorpions, fleas, spiders. I don't remember if all those things were in the original game, but I feel like they probably were in different capacities. Obviously, they looked way different. Maybe not totally different, but, you know. Yeah, there we go, scorpion. Ooh, first, that's a good one for when they're close up. Or butt off. The safest way to take out those centipedes that are that close. Oh, Jesus! Come on, baby! Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't even have that good of a score. Why does it feel so intense? Ah, oh, the ghost! Yes! The best power up in the game. Basically resets it, sends all the centipedes back to the top, gives you a breath. That's a cool little addition. Ooh, rapid fire, you gotta love rapid fire. Oh, Jesus, they almost got me. Woo! Take them out, take them out, take out those dirty centipedes. Boom! Flee! You damn dirty flea! All right, let's do it again. Can't help it, these old games. I used to sit up and play on my old Atari 2600 and just play these kind of games forever. Obviously, back on that system, they didn't mimic the arcades as well as we all hoped they would, but back when you had nothing better, I mean, it was incredible. When I was a little kid, we had the Nintendo. We also had my dad's Atari VCS. And we used to still pull that baby out do high score compos, competitions, and all these classics. Well into the 90s, 2000s, geez, we were just always nostalgianated up with those bad boys. Oh, come on, come on, spider. Ooh. Boom, oh, that was a waste of a laser beam. Come on, give me some goodies. I need a spider. Give me a spider. Okay, there we go. Burst. I like burst. Burst, 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 burst. Yeah, take them out, take them out. That's what we want. Come on, come on. Get this crap out of here. We don't want that all close like that. Yeah. There we go, there we go, there we go. What am I talking about? I'm not even that high of a score just yet. Why is my score getting just pummeled on this round? Then we start killing these big boys. The big bad boys! The fleas! The spiders. Ooh, explosives, explosives. We like these guys. Clear, clear out that field. Clear out that field. Clear out that field. Clear out that field. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah. Let's use that ghost. Yeah! There we go. Fresh! Fresh! Fresh board! Take out the fleas, take out the fleas. Come on, come on. Oh, they go rainbow. And they're just bum rushing you. It's a mad centipede. It's angry. Ooh, a ghost again? Nice. I don't know if those give you any points or anything. Oh, geez. Yeah, we'll just do that so I don't get, get rushed. Ooh, 
We're getting up there now. Now we're getting up there. Take him out! Almost got his whole body. Yeah. Come on! Power up. Give me a power up. Give me something good. Oop, spread. That's good. Spread's good. Yeah. Come on! Ooh, ghost again? Alright, alright. I'll take that. Boom! Get rid of some of these mushrooms. Jesus. There's so many mushrooms everywhere. Oof. Ooh, they're bum rushing me again. Here they come! The centipedes are coming! Does that happen when you hit his butt? It almost feels like that happens when you hit his butt. He comes charging at you. Otherwise, it's a timing thing, and I don't really know exactly. Spider, spider, spider. We need that power up. What's it gonna be? Slow down! That's a good one. Heck yeah. Slow it down. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Take out that one. Yep, get him. Yep, there we go, there we go. Yeah! Yeah, take out that centipede. Take him out, take him out. Yeah, there we go. Oh, jeez! Oh, man! Ooh, that got close. That got real close. Really close. Oh, we got mirror! That's not good right now. We don't need that at all. That's not gonna help out anything. Oh, that's good. That's good. Bomb. Oh man! Those freaking fleas! Get away, get away, get away! Ooh, spread, that's good, that's good, that's good. Get the spread, get the spread. God, there's so many. Oh, get out of there, get out of there! You're trapped, right? You're trapped! Come on, little buddy! Oh god, get that thing! Yes! Woo, you didn't see it, but that creates a ring of bullets around you. That helped out a ton right there! I am so getting trapped right now. Take that, you suckers! Take that, you sucker! Oh, spider in the butt! I beat my high score! Woo! 31,680. That is awesome! Super cool. Let's play some challenges. Let's show you what the challenges are all about. So these are fun. All kinds of different, just random things to do. Like, uh, let's just go from the beginning. Reach 5,000 points. Now, if you're getting burnt out playing arcade, you can come in here and beat some, beat some challenges. Allows you to play the game longer. Because sometimes arcade games, they get repetitive of course and you just start getting getting beat down by the game you don't want that to happen come on game oh bombs that's good that's good there we go there we go blow those suckers up yeah oh, there we go here we go here we go here we go here we go come on Spider. Come on. Ooh, this one's cool. It shoots a little razzle. Yeah. Take that, suckers. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, what do we got here? Yeah, it's taking way longer than I thought to get to that score. Get that flea. Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. Yes! Challenge completed. A little better than my last one. Very cool, very cool. Let's continue. What's next? The trap. Destroy 45 mushrooms. Oh, they got you trapped right inside of a little thing, too. 
do this thing. Yeah, there we go. That will get rid of those mushrooms. Boom, Shaka. Jeez. Get out of my... Get out of my way! Centipedes, you evil centipedes! What we got here? Rapid fire? Can I get that without dying? There we go. Come on, get rid of the mushrooms. That's what we want to die. Slow things down. There we go. <laughs> yes! Oh yeah! Completed the challenge! Oh, the challenge has been completed. And look at that, I'm doing better than all my old times. Amazing. What else we got here? Oh, we got Panzer. Panzer the kitty. Are you interrupting Centipede? That's okay, buddy. Grab a seat. Oh, yes. Look at that. Kitty cat. Kitty cat attack. He wants to play some Atari with us. All right. What else we got? Kill the Super Centipede. Oh, oh, kitty, kitty. Take out the Centipede, Panzer. Panzer, get the Centipede, buddy. Get him. Oh, slow it down. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh man, good thing I had the, the side shot. Whew, that saved me, buddy. Slow down, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, kill that sucker. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Later, bud. He just wanted to say hi. Come on, come on. Here's how we get those hundred centipedes. It's burst! Burst, baby! Burst is cool. It's like a shotgun. It doesn't shoot as far. Yes! Yes! Challenge completed! Very cool. Very cool. So yeah. We've, we've also got achievements. I think I said that already, but let's take a closer look. We got uh, detonate 50 bombs with a single shot, kill 15 enemies, kill a thousand centipedes. I got a whole bunch of these already. Kill the enemy without doing damage to it. Reach 20,000 points in arcade mode. 30,000 points. That's cool. I just did that. Yeah. Got one more cool arcade challenge of 40,000 points. I think that we can do that for sure. And of course, co-op. Let's play one more game of Centipede. This is awesome. Like I was saying, these are the games I want on my Atari VCS to the max, okay? I want new Atari games that are just brand new arcade games. They don't need to be action adventure games all of a sudden using those properties or anything like that. Just make them look neon, make them look new, give us power-ups. And so far, honestly, it seems like that's what they're gonna do. Because this company has made the Missile Command one and the Centipede one. I hope that they have permission to make a few more because these two are awesome. I love these games. I hope fans of Atari also like these games. Because they're cool, they, they're the same games, just you know, new, which I feel like is something that a lot of people have wanted for a long time. New old Atari games. For a while, like a lot of companies, you know, they make them different. Like Centipede, we saw new iterations of Centipede on like Wii and DS, where they made it more of a run and gun shooter game. I think Missile Command even had newer iterations on like PlayStation, I think, and some other systems possibly. Asteroids, I know that game definitely had some new iterations. Hopefully we can get a new asteroid. That would be cool. Oh, game over. 
Wow. 31,680. That is a great score. I can't believe I beat my high score while hanging out on here with you guys. That is awesome. So there we go. Four more games on the Atari VCS store. Three more airy bird flying games and one more Atari recharge title centipede. That was amazing. Let me know in the comments down below how much you're enjoying the new centipede game and missile command, either of the recharge titles because they are just fantastic games. As always, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.